probably have had an interest in cars since uh, age 16, on and off various sports cars. Got very involved with high performance driving and racing. It led me to be enthused enough that I became an instructor of that discipline for other people. I think any of us that do any kind of performance driving learn, you're not trying to seek any thrills, you're just trying to minimize the possibility of something going wrong. I was certainly familiar with Tesla, but knew nothing of any detail. Yes, I could understand the electric and believe it was a very important part, but that didn't come first. The car made measures of performance, beauty, absolute utility, and with those all in mind, I mean, it, it became very apparent that this, this car was something special. I would say very few people even give a moment's thought to safety. I guess that's why we call them accidents. Was going on a familiar street, came to a familiar traffic light. At the point it turned green, I went ahead, and then life changed. I think if I had a stopwatch, the whole time period I'm talking about would have been one third of a second. All of a sudden, it's this bluish car coming into vision. Our impact was her front end of the car right against my hip. I was barely able to get my door open, and when I did, I discovered that car was so stiff, I got off to the side of the road on three wheels. And unfortunately, she was hurt, had to go to the hospital, but I had absolutely no injury. Now, I was extremely lucky, but part of that luck was being in the safest car in the world. I think the biggest uh, attitude adjustment for me was no longer filtering my view of cars from the point of view of the performance and the handling and the beauty and the things of that kind. It really reordered to safety comes ahead of everything else. My name is Jim Hartman and I survived a significant crash in the Tesla Model S.